Welcome to week 32 of your pregnancy. I'm Monica Healy. Let's start off by seeing what is happening with baby this week. Your baby is growing by leaps and bounds. Baby weighs approximately 3.75 pounds or 1.7 kilos and measures about 16 inches or 42 centimeters in length. This is a lifelike model of a 32 week fetus and is about the size of a butternut squash. Research has argued that there is little difference between the brain of a newborn and the brain of a 32-week fetus. By the time baby is born, she's been thinking, learning, and remembering for about three months. Your baby sleeps most of the time at this stage, but when awake will open and close the eyes. Rapid eye movements, REM, associated with dreaming can be detected now. Dreaming encourages the development of the brain, which is why your baby sleeps most of the time. Usually baby is resting in the head down position in the womb, preparing for birth. Baby is practicing breathing movements, although he's only taking in amniotic fluid. These movements help his lungs to strengthen and develop. This fluid is digested and filtered through the kidneys as well and is excreted by the urinary bladder into the amniotic fluid. Your little treasure has developed all the senses. He can hear, see, taste, smell and touch. Expose your baby to music. The type of music baby is exposed to can alter baby's mood. Fast music stimulates and excites her. Classical music has a calming effect. If your baby hears the same music over and over again, she may remember it. It has been shown in studies that the same music played to a baby after they are born as when they were in the womb helped calm a crying baby. As you rapidly gain that weekly pound, your baby gains half a pound, about 0.2 kilos. In the remaining weeks, he will almost double in size. Arms, legs and body are continuing to fill out and they are proportioned to your baby's head now. With all of the added poundage, there is less room for amniotic fluid, thus you may feel stronger movement as there's no barrier to cushion the jabs and kicks and believe me, baby makes a lot of vigorous movements now. Baby's toenails and fingernails and actual hair or peach fuzz have fully developed. At this stage, his immune system is still under construction as his body continuously receives your antibodies. Okay, let's see what's happening with you this week. As delivery nears, there are fewer developments, but the familiar symptoms that you've been experiencing start to intensify. The road ahead is paved with aches and pains, heartburn and increased weight gain, about a pound a week or 0.4 kilograms. But it all ends with the birth of your beautiful baby. Until then, relieve your discomfort by sleeping propped up on pillows to alleviate breathlessness and eat smaller, more frequent meals to cut down on heartburn. Your uterus is approaching the highest position it will reach with the top sitting about 5 inches or 12 centimeters above your belly button. With the expansion of your belly, getting up from the floor or bed after resting or exercise can put a strain on the abdominal mus muscles, which are already stretched to capacity. Roll onto your side, drawing your knees up, then shift your weight and use your hands and bent knees to get to all fours. This is a good way and a good way to safely sit up. Your amazing body is preparing for delivery day, but if you were to experience preterm labor now, your body is ready for action. Blood volume has increased about 40 to 50% to accommodate both mother and baby's needs. You may notice your nipples look darker these days. It has been said that this is to help baby find his food source after birth. Your, ma your baby may be getting into the head down position by twisting and turning, getting ready for the journey through the birth canal. Here are a few quick tips for this week. Think about the people that you want to want in your delivery room, a partner, doula, parent, etc. And be sure to consider any outside help that you might require. Speak to your friends and family about pitching in, preparing meals, shopping for groceries, offering childcare or transportation, or even helping around the house after the baby is born. Most people enjoy helping, particularly when the reward consists of spending a few moments with a precious newborn. 
So that's it for week 32. I can't wait to tell you what is happening during week 30, 33. Until then, enjoy this pregnancy journey. These are the precious moments our lives are made of. I'm Monica Helian. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.